Hello and uh, welcome to my uh, LP, Sonic the Hedgehog. It is the first in the Sonic the Hedgehog series, and it's the game that got me interested in gaming. To be really, re yeah. But basically, I was about uh, three, and I uh, w I'd never been really interested in what she had in the house. But I went up to my big sisters, and she, I found out that she had a Genesis, and I played on it. And I played on it, and I played on it. Uh, Rice Star, um, I love that game. Still love that game. Um, Shinobi, Alex Kid. I've got Shinobi uh, 3DS, uh, and I've drew in that jump up now. Um, and then I was, I was looking through the pile, and I found the box of something there, John. And I was looking at it. I have no idea what it was. I put the cartridge into the 3DS. In the 3DS? No into the Genesis, and I I loved it. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, I remember getting up to like the Labyrinth Zone, and then like I played it for ages and ages and ages, and got really stuck on Labyrinth Zone, and never got past that. And then I uh, slowly got better and better at it. Um, played Sonic Two. Sonic Two was Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal game. It's still one of my favourite games, along with this, Rice Star, and uh, probably Pokemon Emerald as well. Actually, I like the game. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, oh, I forgot about that. That's not solid, is it? And uh, yeah, uh, it was. It wasn't Mario that actually got me interested in gaming. I'm not a huge Super Mario fan, to be fair. Um. I know it was just because Sonic was fast and Mario was do 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 just too a bit slow I guess. Not anything against Mario. I like Mario. I'm a huge fan of Mario Galaxy. So Mario Galaxy is a good game, but I doubt it'll be Sonic Lost World. Sonic Lost World look look Sonic Lost World looks fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Seen the other, have, you, have you guys seen the other? Better seen the other. Because it looks brilliant. And as you can tell, I've got sound on this video. Finally worked out to record music. Yay. Uh, sorry, it's my first upload in a while. I've been busy with one thing and another. Hidden in the stream, I'm going to know about it, is an invincibility box. I haven't really introduced this game that much. This is the first ever game in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Um, you cannot spin dash on like later games, you can roll along the floor, as you will see in a minute. Oh, that is the only way to get through this wall. You can jump on this big levitating platform, but I don't like doing that. I like going the badass way, and um, doing that thing. Um, oh, spikes there. Whoops. Um, Green Hill is one of my favourite zones. When I saw it in Sonic Generations, I played Sonic Generations, and oh, god, no. Um. Oh, it's respawned me back there, isn't it? And I'm dead again. Game over. Oh, oh well. Give me five. There we go. And we're back. Um. Yeah. Green Hill. I played it on uh, Sonic G Generations, and I loved it. And uh, when I found out you could play Sonic the Hedgehog on Sonic Generations, the original, uh, by getting a lot of points or whatever, I was like, oh my god. Sonic the Hedgehog. So I played played the game, did all the challenges, I finally unlocked it, completed the game, and also completed uh, Sonic Generations. Yeah, I uh, completed the original Sonic before I completed Sonic Ge Generations on the Sonic Sonic Generations disc. And here we are, the first ever boss in the game, the very famous boss that wasn't in Sonic Generations for whatever reason. Dr. Eggman's Eggmobile with the spinning ball. Well, that's him defeated, and uh, I know it's been a short video. I'm doing Marble Zone and Spring Yard Zone in the next video. So, uh, see you then.